I'm sorry. Five years ago, uh, Bob and I were married in a Methodist church. We said the, the um, I don't know if they're the Methodist vows, but <laughs> till death do us part. Um, we were nominal Christians at the time. Um, you know, but seven years later, we hit a very rough spot. <clears throat> and I was ready to leave him. Can you imagine that? This nice guy, I was ready to call it quits. And the only, the only reason I stayed was I recalled my vows that I made till death do us part. And I wasn't dead, and he wasn't dead. <laughs> so I, I just knew that I was going to stay with it. So I just want to encourage you, you know, to go back to your first love. Um, when things are rough, think about when you were dating. <laughs> think about your marriage ceremony, because it does get rough. Um, and, you know, it, I'd like to say we had a perfect marriage, but there were the rough times. And soon after this period of time, we went to a marriage um, advance, and the couple really ministered to us. And one of the things was forgiveness. Now, you know, everyone knows about forgiveness, I thought. <laughs> we took upon, after hearing that, we would nightly say to one another, forgive me for what I've done today. And we wouldn't go into what that incident was, but just forgive me. We didn't discuss it. Um, you know, because sometimes you get into, well, you said this, and I said this, and and we didn't do that. It was just, please forgive me for anything that I did today to upset you. And that I really feel that was a, um, a big jump, not only in our Christian life, but in our marriage. So with that, I introduce my husband, Robert Hayes. The apple of my eye. I think she said it all. Um, the, the one thing for me is that I get up in the morning and I say, God, how can I bless her? What can I do today to bless her? And I've learned that it's not my idea of a blessing for her, but it's what's her love language, you know? Because me, I would go get her flowers or take her to dinner or something like that. She likes those things, but her love language is acts of service. Acts of service is not very romantic, and it's not a lot of fun. But it goes a long way blessing her. So me doing the dishes or me doing fixing supper or me doing something like that for her really blesses her. That just rocks her boat. So, but I don't see those things. I don't, those things don't catch my eye. So I have to purpose myself to see that. The other thing I do is ask God to show me how she blesses me every day. You know, it's so easy to get complacent with your wife and just go through life, and she does the wash, she does the cooking, she cleans the house, she does all the things that she does and just take it all for granted. But when the Lord shows you that she's doing that because she wants to bless me, because a lot of those things I wouldn't, I don't see a dirty house until it gets a pigpen, but ours never gets there. So she's always got it clean before I think it's dirty. But to be able to ask God to say, show me how she blesses me. 
it just shifts just shifts your whole perspective on how you view your wife. So I just think